Hello, it's John from Double Sleeved here. It's been a solid week since Ikoria got fully spoiled, and we got sight of the new Lair of Behemoths. If you didn't manage to catch the release, and can't be bothered to scroll through hundreds of cards online, then check out our spoiler videos, links in the description. So Ikoria brings us three mechanics this time round. Cycling, which we've seen before, Mutate, and Companion. We will cover Mutate and Cycling in future videos, and instead focus on Companion. Companion reads, if this card is your chosen companion, you may cast it once from outside the game. To counter this potentially game-changing mechanic, in order to use a card as a companion, you must fulfil its deck-building criteria. So in these videos, we will quickly cover all 10 companions in alphabetical order. The likelihood of these cards companioning a current meta deck, the card's suitability to feature within the new standard meta, based on known meta information, and to look into what deck these companions could run with, considering its restrictions. Look in the description below for a list of resources we used to make this video. Today is all about Gigantha the Wellspring, a 5-5 elemental elk for 4 and a Gruul. It reads, Companion. No card in your starting deck has more than one of the same mana symbol in its mana cost. Tap and add white, blue, black, red and green. This mana can't be spent to pay generic mana costs. So looking at the deck building restrictions, there are only 12 of the top 50 played cards in Standard that have two of the same mana cost. And considering Gigantha encourages multicolour decks, I found many strong deck combinations that fulfil this request. Tamur Reclamation tends to run Brazen Borrower main deck and numerous double mana cards, Questing Beast, Shifting Ceratops, Storm's Wrath, to name a few, in the sideboard. As the sideboard is not considered your starting deck, you can indeed load your sideboard with these cards. With this in mind, whether used as a companion or not, I can see a number of top decks potentially utilising Gigantha to further ramp mid-game into cards such as Niv-Mizzet Reborn, or any of the new Apex Legendaries. Sideboarding an ultimatum or two would enable gain two or three ultimatums for four mana. Strategy for days. One of Gigantha's struggles will be securing a spot in the five mana slot amongst decks that want to run Nyssa or Cavalier, which means having one copy as a companion Maybe it's saving grace. I just hope the restrictions don't put too many people off. Overall, I feel that Gigantha, as with many companions, may sit better in an eternal format. Commander players are crying out for a free card, and who doesn't love a deck restriction to challenge your brewing skills? Tapping for 5 mana is powerful, and coupled with Kiora, Hyrax Tower Scout or High Alert, you have a really strong combo on your hands. How do you find the new companion rules? Do you agree with our summary of Gigantha the Wellspring in the standard meta? And in what decks would you play it? Let us know in the comments below. Join us tomorrow for the next companion review, Kahira the Orphan Guard. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe by clicking here. If you want some practical accessory reviews, click here, and if you want to watch another fun video, click here.